the Joe Rogan experience. But drugs are fucked up in general, man. Like, I just want to say rest in peace to fucking DMX. That's a sad one. Rest in motherfucking paradise, man. There's, Did I've, you see the video when they were getting his body out of the hospital? Nah. It's pretty, I wanted no, it's to tell, pretty amazing. The, I want, the fans outside they were, were playing his music while they're driving the car with his body out yeah. of the hospital. I, I believe it was in White Plains. It's wild. That's crazy. If, if just... Just rabbit, filling the streets. I, I wish I was able to tell him this story I'm about to tell you, because this is fucking real deal, and it's like, he means so much to my family, it's crazy. <laughs> it sounds nuts. Not only did I grow up on fucking DMX, I love DMX, but my wife was in fucking labor for 18 fucking hours, and she had the doula there. I told you they're on some spiritual shit. A motherfucking Peruvian flute playing for 17 fucking hours straight <laughs> the peruvian flute music i want to you know the what one does with, that sound like you, you they came into my sixth grade class and we made a fucking flute <laughs> 17 <laughs> hours in the like the andes the ones that bro she starts freaking out i'm like yo listen we have an hour left or we're gonna have to do a c-section or whatever and she, no fucking chance so Turn the fucking Peruvian flute music off, and I put fucking DMX on. <laughs> Stop. Drop. That motherfucker jumped out of her. <laughs> I swear on everything, it's on camera. It's on film. As soon as the Peruvian flute mu music stopped, DMX came on. He, he fucking heard the dog. And he came out. He just jumped out. I just it's amazing. It's just it, it hurts my fucking heart that I was never able to tell him that. Oh man. Like, man, that's it's like the crazy. It, it's the fucking the doctor was going nuts. He was speaking, <laughs> because everyone was just fucking sick of that shit. Everyone, They're I wanted to so jump tired, out. Of, right? I wanted to jump out of the window from the music. I was laid out on the floor, farting. <laughs> yeah, I was because I had like I had hospital <laughs> chips. Oh no, hospital oh, chips, God, man. But you know. That's they shut down Flushing Hospital for us. Nice little area. It was beautiful. And so it just changed the vibe of the room. Man, he fucking popped right out on everything. Like, man, it's on camera. I couldn't. I can't make where that up. Hood, where the hood, where the hood nah, not on. Uh, it, that would have been a good one. <laughs> but he came out on the, the hit. Stop. Drop. Shut up. Down. Open up. Shop. Whoop. He had some fucking jams. Oh, he had some fucking nothing jams. But, and, nothing but heat. And what a voice. It's the man. What a voice he had. It's the dog. It's the fucking <sighs> fucking man. drugs, man. It's fucked up. It's, it's taken, fucked up. You think about all the great artists that have been that have lost it, lost their lives because of drugs. I mean, it's it's astonishing. And you you go over it. All the musicians, so many musicians. But artists are touched, man. They're the ones that are the most vulnerable to drugs. They're touched. There's a lot of uh, pressures and lots of you it, self. Yeah, it's, you pretty much put it on yourself when you become because you some people don't know how to handle it, you know. I've always been told that I'm good at it, like I'm good at being who I am because I'm me. Yeah, I don't fucking get nervous up there. I don't overthink. I'm just, you know what I mean. You got a good vibe. I'm just vibed out. I'm yeah. not. I'm not worried about all these things. Everyone, I like putting a fucking chain on my neck doesn't excite me. Putting fucking fancy cars don't excite me. I like having the things I like. But I'm fucking, I'm here. I'm you're with everybody. Be, I'm down here with everybody. good every, being you. I'm fucking happy being who I am, man. It's just like the most ha happy place I am. It's very, it's very complicated for people also because a lot of people are judging you. And so you get confused as to who you are. All day. So All lot, day. That, that's what happens with a lot of famous folks, of a lot of entertainers. You get so many voices. So if you're a person like DMX, you literally have millions of people talking about you, good and bad and, yep. and both ways. And, oh, he's terrible. He's the shit. He's a god. He's a bum. He's a loser. It's fucking he's, confusing. He's my favorite. It's confusing. And you just, if you get the the this, you let these people influence who you are as a person. If you let that in, if you take that in. And then you think about the pressures of fame and maintaining fame. And one of the things about the rap world in particular, at least until recently, is that like there was, it was a very short-lived fame. And there was something about guys when they got to a certain age where nobody wanted to hear from them anymore. You're right. There was a lot of them like that. <clears throat>
Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience.